In this video, we are going to study about discrete Fourier transform, that is DFT. Discrete Fourier transform. In this, you have what what is the meaning of DST, uh, DFT, discrete Fourier transform. Suppose you have your signal in a time domain. It converts your signal from time domain to frequency domain so x of n is your time domain and x of k is your frequency domain so dft is to is used to convert time domain into frequency domain so how to do this particular transformation you have two two methods so let's discuss about the methods first one is the formula method formula method and second is a matrix method okay so these are the two methods you can by which you can calculate the discrete Fourier transform first let's discuss the formula so you need to calculate x of k you have to calculate the frequency right frequency domain so x of k formula is summation of n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e raised to minus j 2 pi n k upon capital N. So this is your formula. In this your n represents n represents the length of the sequence. n represents length of the sequence and your small n represents the same thing okay suppose your length of the sequence that is capital n is 4 so your n will range from 0 1 2 3 similar goes for k similarly k will also ranging from 0 1 2 3 for n is equals to 4 if your n is 6 then your values of n will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 not 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 up only up till 5 okay so this is the formula method so you have to remember this particular formula in order to calculate the discrete Fourier transform. Now next is matrix method. Matrix method you can only use for, uh, let's discuss the formula first. That is x of k is equals to omega n into x of n. So this is the formula method formula. Okay. So in this you have omega n is called where omega n is called the twiddle factor twiddle factor so we have three types of twiddle factor that is when n is 4 that means your omega 4 this is omega 4 when n is 6 you have omega 6 in place of n you will put 4 so omega 4 and omega 6 and n 8 so we have three twiddle factors these are your twiddle factor twiddle factor 4 twiddle factor 6 and twiddle factor 8 okay so like this uh, you will have a twiddle factor 4 that means omega 4 into x of n so you will have to multiply the matrix of the twiddle factor with your x of n then you will get the x of k value so this was all for the basics of discrete Fourier transform. In the next video we will discuss directly the numericals.